that I've given. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got a passion to see people heal, don't you? Amen. Yeah. And um, so as believers, you know, um, we, it's like it's bread to us. Like healing is the children's bread. This is what Jesus said. Amen. So back in the old days, it was really, or back in the Bible days, for the Jews, that the Gentiles can have <coughs> So we all are healed. So um, as believers, um, healing is a good way to kickstart a disciple to help that person to start to do what Jesus did. Jesus healed all the sick who came to him. And going out and healing the sick is a good way to start doing what um, he called us to do as believers. Um, so, when a non-believer experiences supernatural healing in the name of Jesus, it is an encounter with Jesus for that person which can ultimately prove to them the reality of God and lead them to repentance and a relationship with Him. Experiencing someone being healed by laying on of your hands is also an amazing experience for a disciple. There is nothing better than to be used by God to further His kingdom. And when you add the power of God, it opens the way for something supernatural. Because um, really, all you need is faith to heal someone. You don't even need the Holy Spirit. Faith is a little child. Amen. Just, just let us be converted as a little child. Amen. Um, yes, yeah, so praying for the sick allows the Holy Spirit within us to flow out of us, which is exactly what God intended. In Acts 28 8, does anyone want to read that? In Matthew 10, 8, it says, Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy. Drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. That's in Matthew 10, 8, if you'd like that as reference. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. So, um, peace to you, as the Father has sent me, I have also seen you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. That's John 20, 20, 21, 22. So, I just... So there was, there was a time when Jesus disciple couldn't heal. Um, so, can
Can we turn to Matthew 17? Can someone read Matthew 17, 14 to 20? When they came to the crowd, a man approached Jesus and knelt before him. Lord, have mercy on my son, he said. He has seizures and is suffering greatly. He often falls into the fire or into the water. I brought him, I brought him to your disciples, but they could not heal him. You unbelieving and perverse generation, Jesus replied. How long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy here to me. Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of the boy, and he was healed at that moment. Then the disciples came to Jesus in private and asked, Why couldn't we drive it out? He replied, Because you have so little faith. Truly I tell you that if you have faith as small as the mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Thank you, Jeremy. So, why couldn't they drive out the demon? Yeah, it's really well. That's right, um, Lindsay. Yeah. So, little faith. If we've got little faith, that the word also said, we just need a mustard seed, right, to have a to have faith like a mountain. Mm. To move a mountain, yeah. we just need faith like a mustard seed, right? So I believe it was unbelief, because I know in the New King James Version, it's unbelief. Yeah. So, and these strong ones only come out with prayer and fasting, yeah. like Jeremy said. So maybe sometimes we need to pray and fast, but yeah. that's, yeah, it's yeah. us. It might be us that yeah. need to pray and fast. Amen. And there's a few scriptures here reference to people having great faith. So can we go to Mark 5? Does someone want to read out Mark 5, 25 to 34? Thank you. So that woman, she was healed by just faith, I think, great faith. Yeah. Um, can someone turn to Matthew 15, 21 to 28? Someone want to read that down? Michelle. Um, um, this went out from there in the prophets of the original time and said, And 
Yes, yeah, okay. <clears throat> and whithersoever he en- wherever so en- he enter into the villages, all the cities, all the country, they laid their sick in the streets and besought him that they may touch it. Yeah. And it <coughs> if it were but for the border of his garment, and many as touched him were made whole. Exactly. So everyone, thank you, Barry. Everyone that Jesus prayed for was healed. Mm. Yeah. And um, yeah. So Matthew eight sixteen to seventeen tells you that. Do you want to look it up? Anyway? Matthew eight. When he even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils and he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that were sick. Verse 17, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Mm. Amen. Amen. So yeah, Jesus the anointing breaks in your own Isaiah 10, 27. So now we have the Holy Spirit inside of us. Yeah. We speak in tongues. It's powerful. Yeah, man. So all we need is to exercise, exercise, yeah. like, and faith is muscle building. It's like the more we exercise, it's same with the Holy Spirit. We're going to see more miracles man. and deliverances and healings and all that, which, which we want to see, don't we? Yeah. We want to be set free. Amen. I mean us and also the unbelievers that are open to the gospel Amen. Amen. that are open to becoming born again believer and a follower of Christ Thank you. You know? um, so most assuredly I say to you he believes in me the works that I do this is John 14 tomorrow he will do also and greater works than these he will do I go to my father. Yeah. Um, John 14, 12. So laying on hands on the sick and all those called to ministry, we don't have to be an ordained like priest or a pastor to do that. Anybody can do it. We probably know all that, a lot of us. So we don't need a special gift for healing. Because the Holy Spirit is for training and equipping the saints to be like Jesus. Mm. An apprentice 
must start to work, and this is the job description that Jesus gave us, and this is why these signs follow those who believe. Just go for it, it's a commandment. Luke 10, 9. Does anyone read? read? 10, 19. 10, 10, 9. Right. Do you want to read it? Yeah. Thank you. And heal ten nine. Yeah. All right. And heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, the kingdom.